I believe that everything is happening right now. I believe that everything is uh, is relative to everything is relative to a single point. Uh, and in this instance of the thing that I want to talk about, I think that everything is relative to a single obser observing point, everything in the universe. It's different. Everything is different depending on where you're looking at it from, depending on the perspective. And every perspective is different. Everything is an infinite wave of possibility until we observe it and then it becomes something. And it is relative to the observance. So for this, I want to use the observing point as myself, as a human being. I think every human being is a point of observance. And so for this, I want to, I'll say for me, for me, everything around me is relative. And of course, then for everyone else, this is, it functions the same way. I believe that everything around us is happening relative to our experience. And I think that the slower that we're moving, the slower that we are experiencing, the faster everything else is happening. That is relativity. Einstein said that when you're on a train and you're traveling faster, time is actually moving slower. I believe that when we are at peace mentally, now I'm not talking about physical speed, but when we are slow mentally, when we have slowed our mind to a stopping point or to a point of unconscious movement, that things around us start to happen faster. And the things around us that happen faster are everything, every experience. We plant the seeds. We say, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be president one day. Uh, I'm going to make $100,000 in 2007. People are abusing each other less. You say these things that you believe in the moment, and then you slow your mind and let the thought go. The thought is gone. The thought has passed. In this moment now, you slow yourself. It's a moment of no thought. I seek to exist in a moment of no thought. Of course, I want to find balance because this physical reality is thought-based. You can have thought. Thought is the mental experience, the picking up things and, and moving things, and then conscious connection, conscious understanding is not thought. It's You don't think about things. You just understand things. You can think about that, but you don't have to. You can think about conscious experience. You can, you can try and analyze it with your mind, and it will drive you insane, and that is the rabbit hole. But you don't have to. You can understand, consciously understand, a person and experience, and mentally explore it and try and understand it mentally, like that person is standing there. You mentally understand that they are standing there. They are about eight feet away. They're about six feet tall. They look, they're looking at you. They look nervous. And you can consciously be aware of the conscious experience. There is another observance. Observing me, it is the same. And that's not a thought process. That's just there. So when you let go of thought process in a moment, and you slow your mind, the things around you that you've manifested to happen, happen faster. Your words gain more power. I notice in the restaurant, when I'm very relaxed, the people at my tables initially become very nervous because I am very moving very slowly. My whole my body has slowed down. It's as if I'm in a constant state of hibernation when I'm not stressed out. And because of that, they get nervous and then they slow down and they find peace and they enjoy I, I immensely they enjoy the moment of peace and and we feed that into each other we give each other our own experience our own energy we mirror it but that initial moment of peace everything around me speeds up in every moment it's like I'm not sped up I am aging slowly which is why I'm 27 but I look like I'm 20 because I'm not stressed out every day because I never watched R-rated movies when I was a kid. I wasn't allowed. I watched a few. I watched like Nightmare on Elm Street in th 2 in 5th grade and it freaked me the fuck out. I don't think it's a good idea to inundate yourself with violence, whether it be in video games or in movies, because film, the film media, now video games, the technological media, it's, it's very realistic. The brain actually believes that it is experiencing what it sees, like the game world. It believes that it is in the world in the moment. And it's dangerous to inundate yourself with violence. I think that because I haven't been, 
in my life that I, I'm not a violent person. I played some violent video games, but I never got like really too focused on it. I'm more interested in the strategy and the development. Um, that was a side note. I got a little off track. I have this cross, and this this metal cross, and you know, I, I use it to dig. I've been using it to dig out the bowl that I was smoking weed out of. You know why? Because if Jesus had had this cross, he would have done the same thing with it. It's a piece of metal that means nothing. <laughs>